Hello everybody and welcome back to the Football Manager 21 Let's Play series. We are on the eve of kicking off the new season with our first match in the Vanarama League. Yep, we got promoted. We are now just one step below the Football League. It's the League, it's league 2 basically. So Vanarama team... Our opening game of the season will be against Weldstone. Remember Weldstone? Remember the Weldstone Raider? I'll tell you what, if he's watching this, I want some. <laughs> I want some. I'm going to come get some. Um, Because I'm planning to go in there and wreak havoc. Um, We've had a good pre-season. We have played a lot of pre-season friendlies. <laughs> Wicked wars have we played some pre-season friendlies. Um, we played Exeter. 6-0. Played Wickham. 5-2. Cambridge City. 8-0. Birmingham. Drew one all. Had a bit of a fitness problem there because obviously with the fixtures quite thick and fast. 16th for the set. 13th for the 7th. 16th for the 7th. 18th for the 7th. 20th of the 7th. There's like a lot of matches there. In a couple of days, fitness meant most of my best players were already off the pitch before even half time. They'd got red hearts and failed. So to get a 1 0 against Birmingham um, was good. Uh, beat Harrogate. And then, of course, the big match Impact Montreal of MLS and Thierry Henry fame. Um, they came to Grantham and got beat 3 0 thanks to goals from Rene Campbell. Max Robson and Dane Scarlett. So I'm quite pleased my uh, assistant manager arranged a friendly in the deal that saw Zach McGraw go to Montreal because uh, I think we had a big uh, big attendance that day. What was the attendance, does it tell me? Attendance. Can't see. Tell me how many fans we got. It was a sellout. I know that much. It was a sellout. Um, now, obviously, people might be going, oh, hold on a minute. Max Robson played. Wasn't he being sold at the end of last season? Hadn't clubs made offers for him in the last video? Well, if we go to transfers and transfer history, uh, Max Robson did indeed join Liverpool for £1 million. A lot of premiership clubs came in and bid for him and bid the minimum release fee in his contract. So I can't have any grumbles about that. He then agreed to join Liverpool. But as you can see, Liverpool were happy to let him come back to us on loan for the season as part of the deal. So we get to keep Max for another year. We've got a million quid. And um, that's all great stuff. Um... One of our little under-18 players got poached by Peterborough under-18s and he went for free. Not worried about that because obviously he's not very good. Uh, Jordan Cox. Oh, oh, Jordan. Jordan, boy, with his one and a half star potential and one and a half star current ability. Um, at 29 years of age. Past the point where he's probably going to be useful to us. He's not going to be a great player looking at his attributes. And um, he's only going to get worse now with age. And uh, we sold him to Blythe Spartans for 50k. And part of the reason I choose to do, chose to do that was because I managed to pick up Kiefer Moore, who was released by Cardiff. A lot of players got released this year, and we've been able to pick up quite a few players. So we, we've got Kiefer Moore who looks like a very good, good player, striker. Um, 29 years of age, so he's got the he's got the age and experience to be a bit of a team leader, a bit of a high-influence player. Again, I didn't, when Jordan Cox left, I didn't want to bring in another kid because of the team balance. Another player I've managed to bring in was Jordan Jürgen Lopkadia, a player that was with Brighton. 
and seemed to have be kind of bandied about everywhere. Um, he was on loan at Hoffenheim. He's had a couple of loan spells with Cincinnati. He was back at Brighton. He then was loaned to Swansea, I think it was. Yeah, loaned to Swansea in the championship. But of course, Brighton got relegated. So he was released. So we was able to pick him up for free. Um, I love, I love, I love signing players released by Premiership clubs. As you can see, at the end of last season, Anthony Carson brought in from Telford, Dane Scarlett from Tottenham. We do like bringing in these Tottenham youth academy players that don't make the grade and get released from the youth team. Um, Harvey Woods from Southampton, Reese Bennett from Man United, Callum Doyle from Man City. Shay Charles from Man City, Josh McNamara from Man City, Ryan Finnegan from Southampton, Josh Tobin from Chelsea. So we've brought in quite a few few players. And obviously we lost Harry Harry Benz to Market Drayton, who wasn't really that good of a player. Didn't really materialise, did he? Obviously, Zach McGraw was the major disappointment, losing him as centre back. But we've brought in quite a few and going into the um, the new season, I'm feeling quite happy that we've got quite a big squad. Balancing all the players might prove a little bit of a challenge. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've also got a loan offer currently for a player. Um, my initial reaction to that was I made that offer before I knew that Max Robson was uh, um, joining Liverpool and Liverpool were going to loan him back to us. Um, so there's a good chance that he, if he does, if he does uh, take up the uh, the deal, come join me. join the club then well um i don't know what i'm gonna do because we might then have too many players although to be fair we have suffered the slight issue in that in the match against montreal jürgen Lakeda did sprain his knee ligaments and max robson pulled his calf so they're going to be out for the first few weeks of the season so Maybe bringing in a left winger is going to be a good move for me. But yes, we are Vanarama National League, Goldstone Raiders. We've got Notts County in the league, look. We've got our, our favourite, our good local rivals, Boston United. We've also got Kings Lynn. They're another team that we like to have. We have a bit of a real life rivalry with. Um... Wrexham's a bit of a journey, I'm not going to lie. That's a bit of a trip. Bit of an away leg. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the season. We've got Weldstone today. We've got Woking on Tuesday. Two away matches to start the season. Let's see if we can get six points. Especially as... um. In my pre-match press conference thingy me jig, um, the the reporter was giving me a bit of jip, saying that we're we we're we're gonna go get relegated, and I'm like, really? So the board are expecting us to win the league. They want us to reach the fourth round minimum of the FA Cup. Whoa, fourth round this year. Fourth round? Last year it was third round. Well, no, last year it was second round. They've just skipped over third round and gone straight. Oh, fourth round minimum. That's a big ask. And they want us to win, uh, defend the FA trophy. Okay. Well, we'll give it a whirl. What can we do? We All we can do is go out there, play the games, try to win, and see what happens. 
homegrown players update. We've got a lot of players who are going to be considered homegrown. 12 months away from being classed as homegrown. A lot of transfer talk about Reme. I'm a bit concerned because obviously I would not like to um, lose Reme. Tackle harder. Do some opposition instructions. We're not going to increase defensive duties and stuff. I'm going to ask a quick pick. Rolls is going to play at winger. Doyle's going to be in mid-defence. Um, it's a strange setup. We've got no room then on the bench for Kempster. That feels like a bit of a mistake to me. Having Kempster available. Mackay's not even available. Don't really like that. I am going to port Kempster. I don't normally play with a substitute goalkeeper, so we'll put Kempster on. We are playing a slightly different formation, as you can see, this, this time around. Our new boy, Dane Scarlett, more. Reme's coming in at inside forward. On the left wing, because obviously uh, Locadia's injured, Robson's injured, the two players that I ideally would play in that position. So Reme's going to have to play in a slightly different position. We're going to have to give Kiefer Moore a new squad number, so he can have number 11. He can take over from Jordan Cox. The amazing thing is, this is the first time ever we've had to submit squad numbers. You can tell we're getting into the pro leagues now. You could tell we're becoming professionals now. We have to put actual squad numbers on our player shirts. <laughs> Should be winning this one fairly comfortably. Wildstone Raiders. <laughs> Wildstone Raiders. I wonder if he's in attendance today, the old Raider. I wonder if he's here. Like I say, if he is, Graham from town wants some. And we're going to get some. So we've done a pretty impressive job thus far of smashing all the teams in pre-season, but obviously now's when it really matters. Off the post by Campbell. That was close. Oh, Marenko, what are you doing, son? What are you doing, Marenko? He's he's can see that's what the couple a couple of times he's done that in pre-season as well, where He's just not come out. He's he's kind of come out for balls and then not really come out for balls. Come on, lads. Head up over the bar by Doyle. Uh, Medford Smith is team captain. I think I should have pointed that out. Um... I've left him as team captain for the coming year. Um, and then uh, I think I've made Bartlett vice captain. I've demoted Cameron Green. He's no longer vice captain. He's... <sighs> what is going on?
You're letting me down badly here, son. You're chucking. Who nil? to do some serious recovery here. A couple of good chances now that Remy's missed. I wonder if we're going to maintain our 100% record in this save, in this series, that we always lose the first game of the season. We always lose the first competitive game of the season. We did last year, remember, to filed in the league. In our first season, we lost in the um, FA Cup. Qualifying round. Oh. Thought we was getting back in the match there. You. Get, get get involved. Oh, I tell you what, these are uh, these linesmen haven't had the memo. They haven't. These new Vanarama League linesmen didn't get the memo that we sent out last year that says Grantham players are never offside. Out of the, this linesman's got this linesman's on the take. This linesman is on the take. He's deliberately, deliberately messing up, and sabotaging us. It should be three two now. It should be three two. Um, what can we do tactic wise what can we do not put him on a defensive duty see Rosie Rosie is okay he's good He's just not a natural winger. He doesn't seem... Um, from what I saw in pre-season, he doesn't seem to be able to run past people. Um, which is obviously a bit of a problem when you're a... a winger. <laughs> Remy's not really a natural inside forward either. He's going to have to just grin and bear it. Campbell's about to come off because he's not fit. Scarlet. More, more as well has just crashed. Dempster for Campbell. Thoray for more. And then we've got one more substitute. And it's either going to be for Dan, Dan Bartlett, who's already on a yellow. I think we have to. This is where I would have loved to have been able to have made more team talks. More substitutes, not team talks. I would like to have been able to have made more substitutes in the league. 
Scala. It's a shame he doesn't have a proper player face like the rest of the players, but for some, I've probably said this, it seems like a lot of the um, youth team players, Premier League youth team players, don't have proper faces in the game. Whether that's some legal thing that Sports Interactive aren't allowed to put their pictures in the game, or the people who make the face pack, sort it out of sight, aren't allowed to put their faces in the game. I thought Torre was in there. Oh, Rosie! He I saw what he was trying to do. He saw what he was trying. Come on, lads. We just need a goal. And we're not going to get it. Full time, we've lost 2-1. Oh. Our XG was fantastic. Look at that. Look, 30 shots to 11. Woodwork. We hit the woodwork twice. Then three disallowed goals. That's what's done us. Well, that was a disappointment. Why have we lost the opening match of the season again? <laughs> when are we ever going? When are we going to break our, our duck? Hey, we had one thousand fans in attendance, I guess. And I guess later in the season we are going to owe them big time for that. What I want to be able to talk about is the shocking linesman. well with all the expectation how do you make you don't like seeing your side see goals but surely you remember the Dimpos score on a low drive from 23 metres out was the sensation what did you make of it There was more than a hint of good fortune. Reme Campbell. Going to be selling Reme to anyone. There we go. Um, don't think it has anything to do with it. At the end of the day, money talks in football. I didn't get to slag off the uh, the linesman for the three obviously incorrect offsides, which is a terrible shame. I would have liked to. Hmm, that's disappointing. So, first game of the new season, and obviously we're going to start out bottom of the league, pretty much. Hmm. Frustrate, frustrating, frustrating, because obviously we scored some free cracking goals, and the linesman flipping sabotaged every single one of them. I don't agree with it. Linesman, there certainly shouldn't be any of this VAR nonsense. Not at this level. We shouldn't be no drawing lines on pitches. No, thank you. Right, 
Right, let's try and get back to playing football if we can. Because <laughs> that was a bit embarrassing, that first uh, that, that result. I'm not going to lie. Right, we've sold 213 season tickets for the season, which is up from last year. Another 104 tickets. So that's good. We're guaranteed 213 fans at every match then. <laughs> As I say, pre-season went well. I'm sorry I'm rubbing my eyes, but they're really, really bothering me all of a sudden this evening. Um, I don't quite know what's gone on with the transfers as well, the transfer clauses. Because I played Exeter, but in my transfer clauses uh, for Lewis Moore, ah, no, it's changed. changed that did have a um it did say a ranger friendly um but i guess that's been updated now because i was thinking hold on a minute i get to play another friendly um they obviously took a little bit of time for it to recognize that we'd played them and met our transfer obligations my freaking eyes man Go and rinse them out in a minute. Um, I don't like playing match practice. Let's just change that to a... Practical. I don't want to do match practice so soon because it, it tires the players out unnecessarily. All right, Campbell's going to go play as centre forward support in this one. He's going to play as advanced forward attack. Torre's probably going to come on for this one. Right, okay. Yeah, Campbell didn't really work as an. In he doesn't really work. He's not. He's not perfect for that position. Those are the two boys that we really need because they are perfect for that position. And they have got massive skills. I mean, Max, obviously, as we know, is a great player. Based on last season. With his, you know, 30 goals and 36-odd assists or whatever it was. That he got. Right, we have signed him. Okay, Jacob Shepard. Sheesh, I kind of wish I'd cancelled that loan offer now. Cardiff have made a, a, a transfer offer. They're only offering 10.75k. They can do one. I've got a uh, release cause in his contract for 5 million bucks. So unless somebody turns up with 5 million, he ain't going nowhere. Hmm. Right, let's go look at training then, because mentoring is obviously falling down badly. There we go, got some new groups now, look. Spirited. Which groups owe you Koki in? He's in that one. Max Robinson, he's professional. He's going to have pretty significant uh, impact. Professional. Yeah, that, that kind of works for me. Uh, I need. I didn't check the squad dynamics, did I? Hierarchy. Team leaders. They're highly influential players because age. Um, I'm guessing, which is why a kind of reason I wanted him for um, Jordan. Cameron Green's status has dropped down because we've removed him as vice captain, of course. That's bound to be the problem. We've loaned Shepard. Right. 
I want to play him as attacking midfielder left. Winger attack. I'm going to take control of his training. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Um, additional focus. Let's get him on. Him on crossing, perhaps. Have a look. Crossing. I mean, if crossing's fairly decent, um, but it could always be better. Maybe we do final third, composure and decisions. Give him on normal intensity. We'll ask him, um, Dan. Get, get him, get him interested. Right. Let's go play Woking, and then that'll be it for today's video, everybody. We'll uh, play our first home match. Um, after that. <laughs> A little bit down the road, shall we say. Could go back to my one up front approach. Uh, yeah, don't offer him professional terms. Look at him. Oh, for star potential ability. Not good enough. Disappointed about Grantham's 2-1 Vanarama National League defeat against Weldstone. They're very disappointed with the finances involved in the deal to bring Jacob Shepard in on loan. I am paying a lot of money for a loan player. I think £1,300 a month. A week? Month? Something ridiculous. <laughs> um, but again, I didn't mind ridiculous before... Max Robson was loaned back to us. So, yeah, we'll see how everything goes there. Right, tactical meeting then. Uh, harder opposition instructions will sort out actually oh, like here you got one player to worry about right um let's put him on to defend might put him on central midfield defend There's Jack Shepherd. Let's go. Well, we're going to have to play him. It says oh, he was going to be a regular starter, but I don't think he is. And they've got Kempster sat on the bench again, look. More Tobin. Do we want Tobin? Well, I'm going to put Kempster. I'm going to risk it. We've got Charles. Go. Let's just have a look. How does Marenko compare with our other goalie, McNamara? Uh, well, Marenko's a lot better. <laughs> and we will, we will. Squad number will have to be given to a player in the team. Let's give him 34. No to match. 
Tactics and opposition. Look better. Opposition instructions. Right, Woking. Let's go out and beat Woking, please. Please, team. Come on. Don't let me down. In his second goal, and he's a good little player. He's going to be awesome. He could be very good player. All right, Scarlet. Torre. Get in there, Mo. Get in there, Mo. Why well, couldn't do this in the last match? Don't know. We always lose the first game. It's like we have first game jitters. We get a bit of nerves in the new league. We get some nerves. We get a little bit. And then after the first match, we're solid. We don't lose again. We go undefeated then for the rest of the season. Smashing everybody. Mm, so I'm a bit confused by all of that. Why we always lose the first match, but hey. Moves us up the table, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that contract decision to uh, loan matey boy was wrong. Oh, Jack. Good boy, Jack. Smash him on the counter attack. That's what we're doing. Jack, look at that goal. Oh, that was a good free kick. I'm not going to deny that. That was a good set piece. Can't, you can't defend, you know, you can't defend that. Oh, actually, the goalie probably could have saved that from that angle. From that angle, that is terrible by Marenko. It's a terrible piece of goalkeeping. Rosie. Where's it? Oh, we tried to square it back to the edge of the box. Scarlet's in. <sighs> I like calling him Captain Scarlet. That might be my new nickname for him, even though he's not captain. <laughs> he looks like a Mr. Ron in that picture. <laughs> in his face pic, which you can't see because it's hidden behind the webcam. But yeah, old Dane Scarlet. He looked this is the voice of the Mr. Ron. <laughs> <laughs> we know you can hear us, Earthman. <laughs> Come on, lads. You've played well, but it's still room to kick on and get some more. I'll give the old fist pumps. Put Campbell into the match. Campbell's not really playing well. Traore. Goddard. Marenko with the firm save there. Play on a bit. Campbell's going to have to come off soon because he's, he's clapped out. He's, his legs are gone. Oh, what a cr Oh, what? I thought that was a perfectly legitimate tackle there. Come on, Marenko. Atta boy, Marenko. That makes up for that free kick you let in in the first half. 
for a here's Mo Mo's on the run still a Mo he's a good strong player is Mo want a good free kick there good throw in all right let's uh let's do the subs because uh Campbell's legs have gone look poor so we're going to bring on Kiefer Moore for Campbell um, Mo Torre. He's having a good game, but I'm going to bring Jacob Shepard on for his debut. And who's next? Probably going to be. I like the fact that Jack is having a good game. We might be seeing Kempster. Gonna see Kemp's to come on. Come on. Just saves the legs a bit. Obviously, Dane Scarlett, he's just gonna play. He's a young lad, he's 18. We can play him for days. His his fitness, he's got fitness forever. He's a young kid, he can play 90 minutes every every match. Why shouldn't he? He needs the uh needs the time to develop. Tell you what, at 3 1, I'm happy with this result. Happy with this decision. A lot of poorly tired individuals out there. I think my pre season has gone very badly. Playing all them three friendlies has really hurt me for pre season fitness. But we've got our first win. Whew. Again, Medford Smith, not a good rating. Bartlett, can't really be, be you know, moan about Kempster or Shepherd or any of those players because, um, ultimately, they came on the subs. They didn't have the full run. Let's have a look. Grant from Hammer Woking. That's... We really need to see the um, home match to really see where we're going to be attendance-wise, money-wise. Scarlet. Yeah. We'll, we'll big him up because he's an 18-year-old lad and he needs all the encouragement and all the support. We are now in 10th place, so we've moved up. Uh, Weldstone are only, only managed to draw their last match, so that's good. Right, well, that's the introduction to Season 3. Baptism of Fire in the first match, and um, yeah, we look forward to seeing how the season develops. So I'll see you all in the next episode, everybody. Bye for now. Cheerio.